So why do doctors gatekeep the information that your hormones, as they decrease, your joint pain will increase? You see, I don't think they're trying to gatekeep. I just think they're drowning. And I also think that there is a lack of education. Remember, when these doctors were in med school, the menopause and nutrition training in general were really low, low. So unless somebody was uh, specifically working with women and studying menopause, they're not going to know because weirdly, even though women make up half the population, we're a real subspecialty, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Like we make up half the world and we're a specialty. Weird, right? So I like to tell people, estrogen is protective. If you remember this, it will make sense for everything else. It is neuroprotective, it helps your brain. That's why when your hormones change, you can't remember why you walked to the basement and you walked back upstairs and remembered you had to flip the laundry, but you went back downstairs and got paper towels and then you went back up and brain fog, yeah. Then it's cardio protective. This is why we are most likely to be unalived because as our estrogen goes down, our protection of our heart isn't so solid. Our cholesterol goes up, our LDL goes up, but it also brokers inflammation in our body. So your widespread joint pain when you went through perimenopause and menopause is because estrogen helps things stay plump and lubricated. Think about your skin and your hair. When your hormones started changing, you noticed your skin was like the Sahara. Your ears became dry and itchy. Your hair was also dry. So like maybe you never had to moisturize, but now you do. That's the same reason you have joint pain. Yeah. Estrogen's cool. It's not just about your uterus and ovaries. It's about like everything. Did you also know that you could apply estrogen to your face, like a face cream? Did you know that if you had itchy ears, you could apply a little bit of estrogen and put it on a Q-tip in your ear? You know, if you have vaginal dryness, you can apply estrogen there. Estrogen is kind of amazing. Like, who knew it did all those things? Isn't that wild? It is just, it's more than babies. It's everything about you.